The opportunity to live and work in space is obviously available to only a very few. But Canadian astronaut Chris Hatfield is doing his best to share that unique experience with everyone right here on Earth. We brought you a taste last night. Tonight, Joanna Romiliotis has more on Hatfield's efforts to reach out. As if grabbing a floating microphone wasn't cool enough. Hi, I'm Chris Hadfield from the Canadian Space Agency. Then came a New Year greeting, all the way from outer space. I want to wish everybody a very happy New Year. Chris Hadfield, the first Canadian prepping to command the International Space Station, and the first to talk and tweet so much about it. So how much does he tweet? Like we're talking three or four times an hour. In fact, the man circling the Earth 16 times a day has sent hundreds of galactic musings already including pictures and commentary of his view of Canada, today alone, of Montreal, Winnipeg, and a sunlit St. John. Doesn't so, he have work to do up there? He has tons of work to do up there, <laughs> but you know, there's laptops everywhere and tweets don't take very long. And no doubt this is all part of the mission, to bring this mission from what astronauts eat to Hatfield's view from the bench press close to home. Hatfield has more than 50,000 followers already. Some want to know how he showers in zero gravity how the food tastes. Even William Shatner, Captain Kirk, sent him a tweet today. Hadfield wrote him back, telling him he was detecting signs of life on the surface. And Hadfield responded to Torontonian Rob McWinney too, who wanted to know how the commander tunes his guitar in space. He's probably pretty busy and I'm, if not surprised, very happy that he takes the time. And all this is inspiring a generation that already knows a thing or two about what's trendy. At the Ontario Science Centre, kids are getting as close to Hatfield as they can. Makes me want to go and see how cool he is. We couldn't resist asking Hatfield a question too. What is the best part of tweeting from space? He wrote back that the best part is being able to directly share the art and wonder of this new human place with everyone worldwide. Even to a seasoned astronaut, it seems the wonder of it all never ceases. And for his followers, the hope, no doubt, is sharing it all won't stop either. Joanna Rumeliotis, CBC News, Toronto. This Saturday, Chris Hatfield will be speaking directly to high school students in Halifax. They'll be linked up using ham radio. We'll have coverage throughout the day on CBC News Network and on The National.